Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you our new dashboard that is employee leave dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of the employee leave dashboard. And here we are showing the total leave taken and total cost of that, that leaves, leave balance, average leave duration, and this is the unplanned leave. You can select any year from here, then you can select any month also. And accordingly, it will show the total leave taken for that particular month. And what was the cost, leave balance, annual leave duration, average leave duration, and unplanned leaves. You can select the leave type also. Accordingly, it will show the information like how many casual leaves are taken, what was the cost, and you can see the other things also. And this is the total leave taken by the department. You can just remove the filter from here. And this is the leave cost by the leave type, approved leave percentage, average leave duration by top five employee. Okay, so we can see the top five employee wherein the duration was very high. You can select the department also from here so that you can see the leave taken by the department and the approval status and the reason. So if you want to see the region, let's say personal work or the family event, medical leave, so you can see that here, okay? Now, let me go to the department analysis page. From here, you can simply jump to the department analysis page. Now, this is the department analysis page and here we are showing the approved leave percentage by the department. And we are showing here this beautiful car chart and you can see the highest approved percentage that is 43.3 for the HR department. Then we are showing the leave cost by the department here and we can see the highest cost is for the finance department. And then here we have the unplanned leave by the department. So these are the number of unplanned leave highest in the finance, then operations, then HR. Now we can jump to the leave analysis also and here we are showing the leave type analysis so we are showing here the average days requested by the leave type here okay. then the pending leave percentage by the leave type and this is the unplanned leaves by the leave type okay and again you can use the uh, filter from here and uh, let's jump to the region analysis and we are showing the different regions for the leave we can see here the maximum leaves are taken for the personal work and minimum for the medical approved percentage by the leave type so maximum leave is approved for the vacation and the medical and here we can see the unplanned leave by the region also personal work we got the highest unplanned leave monthly trend we are showing the monthly trend of the leave taken here then we are showing here approved leave percentage by the month you can select the year also accordingly it will filter the data then leave cost by the month you can see that if you want to see the leave cost month on month trend, let's say only for casual leave, then you can select that and it will show the information for the casual leaves only. Now I will show you the data, how you can update the data in this leave dashboard. So let me go to the file options and then go to the advanced, just scroll it down and check this option that is so C tab, just click on OK. So we can see all the C tabs are available here. Then we have a data sheet. Here we have serial number, employee name, department, leave type, then leave start date, leave end date. And this is the days requested, approval status, the region, and here we have the leave balance, total leave taken, and number of unplanned leave. And this is the average leave duration, and this is the leave cost in USD. Here we have created few calculations to create the calculated field in pivot tables. We will show you those calculated fields also. Now to update the data for this dashboard, you just need to remove this data and just keep this value data there and just remove this data from here. And now update your data in the same format. Then just go to the data tab and just say refresh all. As you click on the refresh all, the whole dashboard will be refreshed and everything will show the latest data according to the data tab. Okay. Now let me come to the support sheet. Here in the support sheet, we have created multiple pivot tables and these pivot table for the each and every page and we have created the visuals here 
so let me come to the support sheet and you can see here we are showing the total leap taken uh, if i right click and go to the show field list then you can see the this is the total leap taken and this is the column we have just created here these are approve and all so we will show you that information also so we have created the formulas you can just go to the pivot table analyze and the field item sets calculated field you can see all the calculated field which we have created or you can just say list formulas so it has added a new sheet and showing the all the formulas which we have created now i will show you how we have created the other pivot tables we have here this employee name and we have applied the filter average leap duration we have applied the filter you can see value filter and just click on top 10 so we have taken top 5 you can just put here 5 and just click on ok so it will take the top 5 here ok we have the same information here so it is taking some extra ok because we have the tie in these employees now here we have created some other charts like we have created this arrow chart if you want to learn how we can apply this type of infographics in a chart so you can simply create the chart first let's say i'm creating the chart employee name by so just go to the insert and insert a normal column chart this one because this is a pivot chart okay so we can see these buttons here and this employee name filter here we don't want to show over this chart so just go to the pivot chart analyze field button and just say hide all we can remove this legend also and the grid lines also so just go to this plus button remove the legend and grid lines now just go to the insert and insert one arrow here from the shape and let's take this arrow and just click here now you can fill the color whatever you want let's say i'm filling this color and shape outline i'm choosing no outline you can go to the shape fill again or you can choose some theme from here also if you want like this one this one or you can just go to the save fill again gradient and let's select this gradient linear up so we can see some gradient impact in this arrow now just copy this arrow and paste over the columns so just click on the column then paste that here now we can see the arrow in place of that column okay just right click go to the format data series and here we will change the gap width reduce that so that the shape of the arrow will appear properly now just select this and add the data labels now we can see the data labels are appearing here and you can just make them black bold and smaller similarly here and this one also all right so that is how we have created this type of arrow chart and once this chart is ready then you can place this here and to create this type of design we just have used the rectangles you can see this is the separate rectangle and in the back end we have this separate rectangle and these all are the separate rectangles then we have placed the chart here okay you can see on the top we have created the cards to create the cards you can simply insert let's say on the new sheet just going here in the view and just say remove the grid lines insert a rectangle here so let's say i'm taking this rectangle and then you can just take the outline this green color and shape fill as white color and then you can make the shape outline slightly thinner then just go to the insert and insert a text box and just drag the text box here first and click on the outline of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to and in the support sheet let's come here and select this one and just hit the enter now align this center center and you can take the font color let's say this one make this bold shape outline just choose the no outline and no fill now just make the copy of this text box and just place this here this is connected with c3 now we will connect with c4 so we can see that number here leap taken number align this center center and increase the font and make this color and make this bold so that is how we have created this type of card and you can add some icons also and we have created these all design using the excel shapes friends if you want to learn more about how we can create this type of dashboard using the excel shapes the hyperlinks and this type of advanced charts then you can join our course we have given the link in the video description box 
In that course, we have explained each and everything, including the PY tables, then the charts, then the dashboards. We have given the link for the practice file in that course. So you can download the practice file and then you can learn with me inside that course. All right, friends. So you can join that course. Link is given in the video description box. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.